Hey, welcome back to Postal Barbecue. I'm Jabin Postal, and today at the grill, we're doing an unboxing and review of the Weber Jumbo Joe Grill, as well as a first cook. And just like always, I'm gonna put all the show notes and full recipe in the description box below, so make sure to click down there to see everything that you need for this cook. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And other than that, let's get into the review. All right, so I just picked up this Weber Jumbo Joe off of Amazon uh, because I needed a second grill, something that was a little bit smaller, uh, something that I could uh, could be more portable, I could take camping, something I, I could just use at home for some smaller cooks. And uh, originally I was lean, leaning towards the uh, Smoky Joe line, uh, which is even smaller than this one, uh, partly because I had it, I was familiar with it. And then uh, I was watching a, one, a, a video from uh, my buddy Justin over at Baby Back Maniac, and he was saying that this was one of his uh, favorite small portable grills that, that he loves. And so I took a look at it, and this is why I got this one over uh, the Smoky Joe line. And I agree with him, I think this is going to be an incredible grill. All right, so let's look at this grill. In your first impressions, it has the same quality that you will find in any of the Weber Kettle line. Looking at the Jumbo Joe, you can see that it has a nice compact design, beginning with the tuck and carry lid lock along the top. This helps with transport and keeps the lid locked on top or when in use becomes a lid holder to help free up both of your hands when cooking. Also on the top you have your handle uh, with the heat shield to help reduce the heat that reaches the handle so you don't have to worry about that getting uh, very hot. Moving along, the lid and bowl are made with a baked on porcelain enamel steel, which means that it'll never peel or flake, which you know adds to that quality that is known for Weber products. So you know it's gonna last a long time. It has two vents to control airflow, the first vent being on the bottom and the second damper uh, on the top. Also on the bottom, you have this removable ash catcher, uh, which really just makes it simple and helps with cleanup. When we open up the grill, we see that it actually has a fair amount of space for cooking. The Jumbo Joe is an 18 inch cooker, which is significantly larger than the Smoky Joe line I was telling you about, uh, which allows for more versatility in your cooking. You can easily do a rack of ribs or a few steaks on this grill uh, when you're cooking for just a few uh, people. The top grate is made from plated steel, and down below you'll notice it's much more heavy duty steel and is more durable to handle the high heat of the coals. Altogether, the 18 inch Jumbo Joe looks great straight out of the box and it's gonna cook some amazing meals for years to come. Uh, that said, I think that the best accessory that you can get for the Jumbo Joe is the 18 inch Sloan Sear from Adrenaline Barbecue. That's what this is here. And it's just gonna elevate your cooks to the next level. Uh, I've been using the Sloan Sear uh, on my 22 inch uh, for a long time and I can say that uh, Every cook that I use uh, with the Sloan Sear just turns out incredible. This basket is made from aluminized steel, but it'll help make creating two zone cooking more efficient and provide not just a better cook experience, but better results. I've been using the Sloan Sear in my 22 inch kettle uh, for a long time now, and, and trust me, this is a game changer when it comes to cooking and making better food on your kettle grill. As far as the grill goes in general, it passes with flying colors, and I'm actually really excited to, to make this a part of my uh, cooking rotation uh, and using this guy for small cooks uh, when I'm cooking just for myself or when uh, we're out uh, at the beach or at the lake or wherever we might be. As I mentioned, I can put all the full details uh, for this grill as well as anything else I may have missed down in the description box below uh, for you to check out in case you're looking to pick this grill up yourself. Now for the first cook, we're going to be doing a gorgeous reverse seared T-bone steak right now.
So our T-bone steak is done, it's sliced, it smells incredible. It was cooked just slightly over to 137, uh, but that's okay, uh, it's gonna taste amazing. Here we go. So tender and juicy. Mmm, -hmm. guys, the flavor on this is incredible. So if you're looking for a new grill, the Weber Jumbo Joe is an incredible choice. It's small and compact, really versatile, and you can make some incredible meals on this thing. Hey guys, if you like what we're doing on this channel, make sure to leave a comment down below, as well as hit that subscribe button for more great barbecue recipes, tutorials, and reviews. And until next time, we'll see you later.